Hello, Scorpio. Welcome. I want to thank everybody for viewing, liking, sharing, subscribing. I also want to give you uh, just a quick heads up that I've been notified by someone who was subscribed to my channel and wanted to remain subscribed, but came to the realization that she was no longer subscribed, so somehow, accidentally, my subscribers are being unsubscribed without their knowing. Please check your notification to make sure that the bell is turned on. Make sure you are still subscribed. And if you are subscribing today, thank you so much. I appreciate it. This is a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everyone for sure. But you can always check your moon rising and Venus signs. That will give you a much bigger, more well-rounded view of this timeline. We are working on mid-October. And... I think that's everything. So let's get going. First card out is Five of Pentacles, Five of Earth in this deck. Then we have the Three of Fire or Three of Wands. I'm just going to say what's on the card, okay? Nine of Fire. Eight of Water, The Fool, oh that's such a good card especially to have here because this position right here in the center is going to be part of your overall energy combined with the bottom of the deck. Messenger of Water, Empress, nice, Hierophant, Another good card. And your outcome position, five of fire. Okay, so bottom of the deck. And now part of your overall energy combined with the fool card is the nine of earth. So this is my spread. If you haven't seen my spread before, this is how it works. This is where you're at-ish because time is fluid and it's an illusion. This is where you're headed or where you need to head. It's the outcome, okay? This center card combined with the bottom of the deck, like I said, it is your overall energy. And all the other cards in between point A and point B are the journey, okay? Okay, so just give me a minute to take a look and get a feel for the energies and any messages coming through. Okay, so the overall energy, the Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Earth, and the Fool card. The Fool card is all about not knowing where you're headed when you step forward, but knowing that you need to step forward and taking that leap of faith, trusting that you're being guided in a, a, a good, safe, um, I can't think of the word, um, do I, my stomach's growling, if you can hear that I apologize, a good, safe, um, I want to say prosperous, but that's not even the word. It is, it's, a, it's a direction that is for your highest good. And you have to trust that this is guidance from your inner being, right? Hang on, we got a lot of glare here. I don't know if that's going to help. No, probably not. Okay. Hold the phone. We had no sunshine a minute ago. Now we have all this sunshine, so hang on.
Okay. We have a beautiful sunny day happening here, but that's not what we had when I started the reading. So now we have fixed that. Um, <clears throat> to get back to the Fool card. So this is being guided in a specific direction. You might not be able to see the direction you're headed in. You might not be able to see what you're going to end up at or where you're going to end up. But if it's divinely guided, you need to take that leap of faith. We all have been in that position because with this being your overall energy combined with the bottom of the deck, you've got the nine of earth here, which is the nine of pentacles. That is financial independence. It also represents being just independent or being single, right? So take that leap of faith because it's going to do one of two things or it's going to do both of these things. It's either going to take you to that very prosperous place financially or and or it's going to take you to that place of not being single anymore, not having to do it all yourself, you know? Having somebody that helps you, somebody that helps you pay the bills, somebody that loves you, that you love, somebody you can share things with. This leap of faith is going to be a good one for you, Scorpio. Okay, so where we start, the Five of Pentacles, Five of Earth. This is... In, in normally in the decks, it's all about being rejected, left behind, shoved aside. It, it's all those, it just, it almost is being in victim mentality. It's, it's feeling like a victim, like nothing good is happening for you, like everything that could happen that's bad is happening. But what it, what it what it is for you is if that's how you're feeling or how you've been feeling up to this point stop because look behind this person look at the light coming through from behind you don't see the good that's coming because it's it's behind you and you're looking in a in a very different direction so I'm not saying that you are in victim mentality, but if you find yourself in that place of feeling um, not needed, not wanted, pushed aside, ignored, avoided, all of those negative emotions, those negative feelings, then try to turn it around because behind you, it's very sunny, it's very bright something amazing is coming up behind you. You don't see it coming, but it's there. And then you have the three of wands. This is all about, I, I just, I don't know, I love this card in this deck because it doesn't look anything like the other three of, of wands or three of fire. This is somebody that looks like they're taking a journey, a brand new journey, and they're in a new vehicle. A very cool new vehicle. They have no clue where they're headed. I know that's not what the Three of Wands represents, but this is the message coming through for me. You have no idea where you're headed. And that is the overall energy. Having to take a leap of faith because you have no idea the direction you're headed in. You can't see it. It's behind you. But you're being asked to move in a specific direction because it's going to take you back around to where you need to be. This is your proverbial ships coming in. Then you have the nine of fire or nine of wands. This is all about, you're so close. <laughs> you are so close. You literally are this close to what it is that you want. Persevere. You've worked so hard to get to this place, so hard for so long. Now is not the time to give up. Now is the time to keep going, persevere. It's right there, Scorpio. It's right behind you. You are, are taking a final step to fulfillment here. One final step, that's it. 
And the Eight of Water or Eight of Cups in this deck, have a look at it. It looks like the Three of Wands. He's waiting and watching, waiting for his ship to come in. And look, there it is. Don't walk away now. The message I'm getting with this is whatever you do, don't walk away yet. That ship is headed back in to, towards you. And that is where all your treasure sits, my friend. Love, money, happiness, joy, bliss, all of it. And then we have the Fool card. Next, we have the Messenger of Water or Page of Cups. This is a very, very valuable message. You're going to want to hear this. This is somebody coming in and laying it all out on the table. They are going to tell you that they have feelings for you. They're going to tell you that they do care about you. They do love you. They do want to be with you. If you take that leap of faith, that's where you're headed. You're headed toward this person. Empress. This is... <laughs> this is a rebirth. This is something coming back to you. The fact that it's a rebirth. It's not a birth. It's a rebirth. So this is something coming back to you. And it's right below the Eight of Cups, which is this ship heading back towards you. Whoever this is, whatever that is, it's coming back. Don't walk away. Don't turn your back on this and walk away. Not yet. Keep moving where you're guided to move because it is taking you someplace very, very special. The Hierophant. You are... Oh, just... Wow. Have a look just above the five. What do you see there? Wedding bands. This is going to lead you to a long-term partnership, if not marriage, Scorpio. And where you're headed currently, because I can tell you right now, the Five of Wands, Five of Fire, this is not where you, you want to be. This is not what your outcome is supposed to be. So this is where you're headed. If you stay here in this way of feeling victimized. I, you know, I, that's too harsh a word. I hate that word. I really hate that word. We all get to that place where we feel rejected and ignored and worthless, but you have got to find a way to get yourself out of that. Because if you don't, you're headed for the five of wands. This is conflict. This is challenges. And this doesn't even fit with the rest of this reading. It really doesn't. You have so many good cards between where you're at and where you end up or where you're about to end up. It tells me that this is not where you're supposed to be. Now, When you look at, at it, I didn't understand this to begin with, but they're wanting me to go this way with you. You've got the Five of Wands, the Fool, and the Five of Pentacles. So two fives are flanking the Fool card. This is all about taking that leap of faith so that you get this message of love. Isn't that funny that it, it flanks that that way. But if, if you find yourself here, if you have already gone through your, your journey, this part of your journey, and you find yourself here in conflict and challenge and upheaval in your life, take that leap of faith. You are still being guided in that direction. Spirit is not going to stop trying to guide you in that right direction. So if you take that leap of faith now, you will get to this place, look at, not to the place of being ignored or avoided or devalued. You get to this place 
this beautiful, glowing, wonderful place that you're meant to be, that you just can't see. And taking that leap of faith, you can't see it when you take that leap of faith either, but, but you do land there. You know, a message was given to me not very long ago. I thought it was just a message for myself, from my guides, but I'm finding as I do personal readings or private readings and talk to my family and friends, it seems like it's a message for majority of, of uh, the collective, if not all the collective. And that message is, backward means forward. That's exactly this message here. You're going backward because if you're here, this is going back to the beginning. It's going backward. Turn it around. That's another message I keep getting for myself. Turn it around. Instead of going from here left to right like we normally do, start at the right and come back. You're going to see something. You're going to see a different story. You're going to get different information. Turn around. Turn it around. You're going to see the light. Whatever it is that you haven't been able to figure out up to this point in time, this is the message. Turn it around. You will see the message. You'll get it. It's a little confusing. I get that <laughs> because that's my message too. And I, I'm not having an easy time with that one either. I want to clarify the uh, Fool card. We're going to do it with uh, Synchronicity Oracle. Angels, why is the Fool card here? Please and thank you. What is this leap of faith? Okay, we had one flip. I don't generally take the flippers. I'll show it to you though. Holiday. So if anyone's planning a holiday or on a holiday right now, there is something pertinent in this message for you. Not that there isn't for others. Okay. On path and about to realize manifestation. But, it, oh, <laughs> I was going to say it didn't come out, but it did now. So the fool, when you take that leap of faith, you are getting on path and you will be this close to realizing manifestation. Let's clarify the nine oh, look at the bottom of the deck. Your twin misses you. Uh, so this is numbered 811, okay? When I created this deck, I did so because I was seeing numbers on a very regular basis, and I wanted to know what they meant. So I asked, and the, the cards that are numbered have the answers that I received when I asked for what the numbers represented, okay? So this one is number 811. If you have been or will or do start seeing 811 in the future or have been seeing it in the past, what it means for you likely is that you're on path and about to realize manifestation, okay? When you take this leap of faith, you will be on path and this close to realizing manifestation. And this is part of your manifestation here. Nine of Earth, angels. Why is, okay. Astral traveling with your twin. It seems to be all about your twin, Scorpio, because look at the bottom of the deck again. And I've been shuffling. Okay. <laughs> visualize what you want. It's all about manifestation. So visualize what you want. They wanted that one to come out. Peace. And that is my son, by the way. So the Nine of Pentacles, it, it's a, <laughs> taking that leap of faith will take you here and it will take you to a, a place of peace. If you've got stress, anxiety, if you're in this place right here of negative emotion, taking that leap of faith is actually going to take you to a place where you have inner peace and inner quiet 
freedom. Bottom of the deck, again, astral travel with your twin. It's taking you to your twin. Who is going to let you know how they feel? Or it can be reversed, Scorpio, okay? If, if this is not them that needs to come to you and let you know how they feel because they already have told you, if you haven't told your twin how you feel, then it's going to be time for you to tell them. That puts you on path. You're, you know, you already know, okay? Those of you that are watching this, you already know what this leap of faith is or that you've been guided to move in a specific direction. Okay, is that everything? I think we're going to get, I want to get you um, a Just Ask Oracle card. Just for further guidance. Okay, angels. What have you got for Scorpio, please and thank you? forever here. Yeah, up leveling. That is a given with the Hierophant here. Definitely, you are up leveling. Balance is necessary now. Yes, it is. Emotional balance necessary to get where you want to go. I want to get one of these. This is Island Time Wellness. What else can we tell Scorpio Angels? Please and thank you. Camera. Reminiscing. Keepsake. Perception. Learn from the past making memories wow oh, i guess i'll leave this here camera so for those of you that are on a holiday take pictures you're going to want to go back on the pictures some of you need to go back to something in the past in a picture in order to learn from it there's a message there for you that's not going to resonate for everybody. That is a very, <laughs> very out there message. But someone has a picture that will give them uh, clarity. Okay, so to get to where you need to be in the extended, I'm going to ask Spirit what it is that you need to do, be, think, and or feel in order to reach this place of inner peace, um, manifestation of what it is you want, finances, love, all of it. So for those of you that want those answers, the link will be below. If any of you want a private reading, there will be a link below for that as well. Uh, thank you for viewing again. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.